What's up guys, I'm Zoe, welcome to my channel. Today we have a very, very special episode. I am born and raised in Los Angeles, for those of you who don't know, and I'm also Jewish. And what does a Jewish girl in Los Angeles have to do? She needs to know her pastrami. So today we're going to be uncovering the best pastrami in Los Angeles. Come along with me and let's get started. Starting out with Greenblatt's. Greenblatt's Deli on the Sunset Strip in Hollywood. They have been open since 1926. They are almost 100 years old. F. Scott Fitzgerald, Marilyn Monroe, and Joe DiMaggio are all known to have gone to Greenblatt's. First things first, this sandwich is actually shaped as a heart. I think Greenblatt's knows the key to my heart. <laughs> All right, taking a look in this sandwich, we got pastrami, some yellow mustard, some rye bread. Pretty self-explanatory. It looks so, so good. Let's dig in. The meat is so tender. It literally melts in your mouth. This is amazing. One of my favorite things about it also, not only is the meat so tender, it's so flavorful. You can tell this pastrami has been cooked for a really long time. It's cooked perfectly. Not only is it tender, but it's not overcooked at all. It's super moist, has so many different flavors. They double bake it. So the rye bread edges are super crunchy while the inside of the bread is really soft. One thing to also notice about the pastrami at Greenblatt's they don't add coleslaw or cheese or anything. I actually really like that about this place because it makes you taste the meat even more. Sometimes when you add a lot of toppings, I think it takes away from the actual meat and pastrami itself. This is super simple and tastes amazing. Notice how they smoke it. Look at these black edges around the pastrami. Okay. literally to die for. Greenblatt's definitely set an extremely high standard. I would give the pastrami sandwich from Greenblatt's an eight and a half out of 10 stars. Let's move on and see if the other ones live up to the hype. Next up, we're going to be trying Langer's. For those of you who haven't been to Langer's before, it's a Jewish deli. It's one of the most famous in the city. It's located in downtown Los Angeles and they've been around for over 66 years. Opened in 1947 by Norm and Jeanette Langer. All right, as well, paper wrapping. Let's open it up. Wow, this is massive. We got pastrami, we got coleslaw, Russian dressing, mustard, soft rye bread. All right, we're, let's go in for the kill. So many different flavors going on in the sandwich. The pastrami is really soft, really tender. You can really taste the coleslaw and the Russian dressing. It's a little bit different from the green blots where it was just the pastrami with the mustard and the bread versus this, which is really a blend of all the toppings all together. This is one of the best pastrami sandwiches I've ever had. Not only does the meat and the sandwich taste so good, but it really, really blends so well together with all of the other toppings, the Russian dressing, the coleslaw. I believe that, yeah, there's Swiss cheese on here as well. Since I got it to go and it has more dressing and toppings than the Green Blots one, I feel like it's a little bit more soggy, but it's still really good. This would definitely be best to have it in the restaurant just due to all the toppings and the fact that you don't want it to sit out for a long time. But overall, I love the Langer's pastrami. It's one of the best in the city. I would give the Langer's pastrami an eight out of 10 stars. The Jewish deli experience is not the same without a dill pickle. Mmm. 
All right, guys, next up we have Daughter's Deli located in West Hollywood. This, I would say, is more of the new kid on the block. It's not as much of a traditional Jewish deli. It's more casual style, but it's actually owned by the daughter of the owner of Langer's Deli. Trisha Langer, she owns Daughter's Deli with her husband and with her family. Let's see what they're all about. All right, some first thoughts. The, the cuts of meat are definitely a little bit thicker in the Daughter's Deli slice. We got, looks like Swiss cheese, um, coleslaw, some Russian dressing, also on rye bread. Bon Appetit. Mmm. A few moments later. Wow, this is really giving the other ones a run for their money. I think the meat in this one not only is it thicker, it's more proportioned than the Langer's one. The Langer's one, I felt like you could taste the toppings more. In this one, you definitely can taste the meat a lot more. And it blends so nicely together with the other toppings as well. The coleslaw and the Russian dressing. Another thing I love about the Daughter's Deli sandwich, the edges are so nice and crunchy, while the inside of the rye is extremely, extremely soft. but I absolutely love the Daughter's Deli sandwich. All the ingredients taste so good together. The meat stands out more than, more than anything. Super thick slices, super tender, super yummy. Try it out. I would give the Daughter's Deli sandwich an eight and a half out of 10 stars. All right, so summing up all the sandwiches we had today, starting off with Greenblatt's, I would say my number one choice for the best pastrami in LA is at Greenblatt's Deli on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood. It really stands out to me more than anything. I like a simple pastrami sandwich and I think that the meat really speaks for itself here and I love the way this sandwich tastes. I love how they keep it simple with just the meat, the mustard, and the bread. It really makes the taste of the meat stand out more than anything. The meat was smoky, flavorful, tender, and really, really good. And I think Greenblatt's being around since 1926, that's almost 100 years old, really shows how much of an LA staple it truly is. Second best, I would say, is Daughter's Deli. I really, really love this place. I think it's so good, and I think that it says a lot, and it's so cool that the daughter of Langer's Deli is the owner of Daughter's Deli. I think that's really cool and something that she's passed on from generation to generation. The meat was definitely, I think, the softest at, at Daughter's Deli out of the three, and I think they gave you the thickest cuts of meat at Daughter's Deli. I also really liked how all of the toppings at Daughter's Deli didn't overpower the sandwich at all. If anything, it just made the meat taste even better. And last but not least, my third pick for top pastrami in LA would be Langer's Deli in downtown Los Angeles. The meat at Langer's I thought was a little bit sweeter than the meat at Greenblatt's, which, which I felt was a little bit smokier. The Langer sandwich was really, really good though. It had such a great blend of ingredients from the Swiss cheese, coleslaw, Russian dressing, pastrami with the rye bread. I loved it. The only thing I will say is that I felt the toppings might be a little bit overpowering compared to the meat in the sandwich. If I had the sandwich just with the meat, I might have liked it more. And I really did like it, but I do think that Greenblatt's and Daughter's Deli would rank above those for me. What do you guys think? What do you think is the best pastrami in LA, in your city? Did I miss any places? Drop a comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite pastrami place. If you haven't already, please like this video. I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. There's gonna be lots of new videos coming soon and I would love to take you along on the journey with me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.